was full of sound to pull the name out. <laughs> Jacksonville 911, what's the location of your emergency? The emergency is on 67th Street of Ramona Boulevard. There is a dead body laying on the corner or face of Memorial. He shot in the head. Did you say 6750 Ramona? Yes, ma'am. Is this a house apartment or trailer? It's, a, it's some apartments. I just was riding by and like I just seen a foot hanging out. Like, kind of by the street, when I rolled by, the man just landed, and it looked like he got shot in the head. Like, he's not moving. I didn't stop because I'm scared, so it's kind of dark. It already. looks like we have officers en route. Okay, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Right. Bye-bye. Jacksonville 911, what's the location of your emergency? Ramona and, um, uh, um, Bomb Tree. There, there's a man laying out here in the street. I see him bleeding. Um, I don't. I'm not getting out of the car. I got all my kids to see if he's okay. Okay, you said it's Ramona and what? Um, what is that talking street? Tree. Talking tree. Ta um, off a of talking tree up where the apartments are, in between the pro the uh projects and the um townhomes. Okay, is he on Ramona or is he on Talking Tree? He's on Ramona Street, like um, almost by the where they have the um, fair or whatever down there. Do you think he needs an ambulance? I believe he does. I mean, okay. it don't look like he's moving. Stay but I, I'm going to get, get rescue on the phone. Don't hang up, okay? Okay. Well, we just go in the car. I just don't want nobody to hear him. Seneca, be quiet. Ain't nothing going to happen. Fire rescue be quiet about the address emergency? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. There's a man laying out here on the, like, off of the street on uh, Ramona. Ramona? Uh, where? Um, talking tree uh, where the apartments are in between the, uh, where they have the, um, the, like, fair, or not the fair, but the, whatever. Are you, by, are you by Faith Memorial? There, that right there, Faith Remo Memorial in, um. In Ramona Boulevard? Yes. And the man's laying down where? He's in the road. Can you white male, black male, Hispanic male? Um, I believe he may be black. Okay, and are you right there next to him? I am not getting out the car. I got all my kids in the car. Okay, can you tell if he's breathing at all? I can't. I just, I don't see him moving at all, and I know I seen blood when I was passing by. Okay, where did where did you see the blood coming from? His head. I don't know if he got hit or if he got in a fight. I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, so 71. Thank you very much. Okay, and you already left the scene, ma'am? Um, I, I, my son's scared, so I think I'm going to pull off. I just don't want him to be panicking and stuff. Oh, I understand that. Okay, we do have the uh, paramedic. Today's video is about a 102nd homicide in the city of Jacksonville, Florida, back in 2016. Eddie Edward Brown, also known as City Boy and Brick, was murdered when he was just 31 years old. Eddie used to be a high school. Eddie used to be a Jacksonville High School basketball star with big dreams of playing in the NBA. However, his life got derailed and he started selling drugs. And, you know, becoming a murder victim is one of the primary occupational hazards of being a drug dealer. Eddie left behind several kids and a fiancé. So what happened to him? An ex-girlfriend or side chick who used the name Sheila, set up his murder. Her real name is Filieza Lopano, and she was just 21 when this happened. The killer, her co-conspirator, was Blair. Terry, who was 26 years old 
when the murder took place. So how did the murder happen? On the day of his murder, Eddie Brown had been staying in a hotel room, likely for drug dealing purposes. Lopano met him at the hotel and lured him into her vehicle. Then, Terry, who had been hiding, showed up and started talking to Lopano, and she allowed him to get in the back seat. Then Lopano drove away with Mr. Brown on the passenger seat and Mr. Blair in the back seat. Not long thereafter, Mr. Brown was shot in the head. He was found still alive and was taken to a hospital, but he did not make it. So we're going to take a deep dive into this case and into the investigation to see how the murder was solved and how the perpetrators were brought to justice. I don't know if you're cold. Yes, ma'am. That's what shirt. I don't know if he's worn it. I don't know. That's out in the hallway. Is this one? Thank you, baby. Yeah. It's up to you. What's your name, baby? Felicia. Felicia. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm going to talk to you in just a minute. Okay. All right. You good? You need something to drink? Um, yeah, please. Let me see that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, it don't matter. Anything besides water, though. I'm not going to okay. Oh, you don't want any water? Did you want water? No? No? Okay. No, sir. Thank you. Tonight, for sure. What's your first name? Felicia. P H. Mm -hmm. I L I. I L I. E. Mm -hmm. Z. A. And last name? Blue panel. L O B. A N O. What's your address? Address? Um, I don't know the address to that place. Do you live there? Not really. But I mean, if you're going to want an address, that's going to be like the most. I don't. You know, I think. Basically, there's nowhere else you go. 
Like for like, there's no home address you can pop up. Like, I don't. I mean, I don't really live there, but I'm there the most. Yeah. Where's your mom live? What? Um, I don't got a family at home. Yes. You know. Um, my dad's dead, and me and my mom haven't talked in a very long time. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have, um, what's your social? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest. That's okay. What's your date of birth? June 29th, 1995. How tall are you? Mm, five one. Yeah, how much do you weigh? One twenty-three around that area. Okay. That's how I weigh myself. Call your last friend. You have a phone number? I will have a phone, baby. You're twenty-one. Yes, ma'am. Can you read and write? <laughs> what level of education did you go to? Um, ten. Are you on any drugs today? Today? Mm-mm. Any alcohol today? Mm-mm. What do you usually take for drugs? I smoke weed and I drink. That's it. Oh. That's... What's your nickname people call you? Me? Mm-hmm. Fee. Fee? P-H-I. P-H-I. Any other nicknames? Mm-mm. No. Is that what your names? Mm, pooper. Who? Pooper. That's funny because people say they uh, your name's Shayla. No. The only the only one that they used to show there is me and a girl that looks like me Skittles. That's they used to call her Shayla, but she's locked up. As a girl that looks like not, you. Yeah, Skittles. I am not no. Yeah. So you're so people don't call you Shayla? Like the Three guys I just talked to, they're wrong? Shayla? Mm -hmm. No. They do not call me Shayla. No. Hmm. (coughs) So those three guys are not right? They Mm -hmm. said they they, they call you Shayla. No. Skittles is Shayla. The only time, the, the three guys, one of them, I don't even know him. So there's no way he told you that he calls me Shayla. I don't know him. Right. <laughs> no. No, the only time they call me that is when they fuck you. They don't even call me Shay. They call me Shay. When they fuck with me about Skittles. Because I don't need her to want. No. Okay. Mm-mm. What Skittles are on you know? No, I don't. I don't what do Skittles look like? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can pull it off the back page or something. No, she's not here. You know why we're here? I have ideas. What's your idea? Um, like, obviously, what happened today? Besides that. It's not really about what happened today, it's about what happened earlier this week. So. Mm. Let's just get this over so you can be done with it tonight, okay? Yeah. All right? Mm. Okay? So we're going to start out by just telling the truth, okay? So you can be mm. done. We're just going to start out. Oh, yeah. I mean, let me just, before I do that, <coughs> I have to read your constitutional rights because that's just what I have to do to everybody that's in here. Mm. So it doesn't mean you're guilty of anything. It just means I have to let you know what they are. Mm. Okay. Um, do you know where we're at today? The jobs. Well, the police station, yeah. <laughs> and today is uh, Veterans Day. Yeah. Yep. It's not really a holiday. Well, it is, yep. actually, it is. Yeah. Today is a holiday. It's Veterans Day. And to the time is what? It's now 9.02. Okay. Do me a favor, just I know you can read. Can you read out that first line for me? Yeah, the following race under the United States Constitution. Oh, thank God you can read. Because <laughs> some people say that and they can't read that first line. But I'm going to read out the rest of you, okay? Um, you do not have to make a statement or say anything. You understand that? Mm-hmm. 
Anything you say can't be used against you in court. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have a lawyer with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any question if you wish. Mm-hmm. If you do under, if you do answer questions, you have, a fo- you have the right to stop answering questions and consult with an attorney at any time. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. Okay, just sign there that you understand it. It's sloppy, but... It's what? It's sloppy, but... That's all right. Okay. All right, so... Let's get to the, um... Let's get to the point of why we're really here. You tell me why, again, why you think we're here now. I don't, man, I don't know. I'm like, with that today in my mind, I'm tired. Just, can we, like, like you said, get to the point? What, what are we here for? We're here for break. What's going on? Okay, what about what happened earlier this week? Mm-hmm. Man, I don't have nothing to do with that, man. I was me and him. That was what? That, that's my ex. I, I have him tattooed on my back. Like, me and him were. So what happened with you, bro? Like, what? I mean, what, what happened? We had a baby mom. I told his baby mama about me and him fell out. We didn't talk. Who's his baby mama, do you know? Mm-hmm. Do you know his, her name? His baby mama name? Serena. We fell out. And then, what was that, really? When's the last time you talked to him? Right here this week. What day, do you know? When I found out about it, I had talked to him and like the night before. When did you find out about it? I found out about it um when I read the thing because I didn't believe it when I first heard it. When I read because um, I had just talked to him, I had just never seen him. Um, I found out about it. They said that they found him. Like four, you know, what? Tuesday. You found out about Tuesday? No, Tuesday's one, and I went to see him, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, I found out. What did you, what did you hear happen? All I got told was that they found him, and that he had a son. Who said, who told you that? That's what it says online. Says the line that he got shot in the back of the head? Ooh. Where online is that? The, um, Jack's News thing. News for Jax or Jacksonville.com or? Bad, I don't know. Which, I mean, it's all the same thing. Okay, so what time did you go see him? He was shot on a Monday night. Monday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, did you see him Monday? Monday. Mm-mm. Oh, I, yeah, but I was there. It was very late Monday. Mm-mm. Yeah. Because I haven't known that same uh, I don't, when I went and seen him, it was not late. As far as like the day. When you saw him, was it light outside or dark outside? It had just got dark. It had just got dark. How did you go see him? Did you drive over there? Mm-hmm. And what? The white car. I drove over there, and then from there, who went and picked up Pop? Pop dropped me off home. Who's Pop? Owner of the car. Well, who's that? 
There's one of the dudes I've met from being out with this. Um, His name's Dot or Pop? Pop. P O P. Okay, what does he look like? Tall, light skin, big lips, big ears. He has <coughs> Pop. Is that I mean? Why? You know who Pop is? I, I clearly don't know who I Pop is. I have no idea who Pop is. Was he there tonight? So when you last saw Brick, um, mm -hmm. what did y'all talk about? Was he worried about anything? No, honestly, I went to go see him and buy some weed. Yeah. Well, to be honest, that's what I went for. Sure. And then from there, <clears throat> my wife picked up Pop. Pop dropped off. Did, um, did Brick go with you? Where? Home? No, did he leave with you from the hotel that day? Yeah. He was telling me to leave. He didn't. And he wanted to take me to get something to eat. When I, took, when I went to go get something to eat, Pop had wanted um, me to pick him up. I went and picked him up over there somewhere off the highway. And then from there he took me home and had a break left. But this was right when it was getting dark? Uh, no, like I myself went after. Like right around that time it was getting dark. This is around that. Yeah. But by the time Pop picked up with us, it was already dark. So you picked him up and he went with you. Was anybody else in the car? Brick went with you in the car, in the white car? That's what it, yeah. Felicia, did he go in the white car with you? That's what I just said, wasn't it? <coughs> so why am I? You know why you're here, okay? You were 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is your life you're gambling with. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking any questions I don't already know the answers to. If you, if you knew, why are you asking me that? That's my job. It's my well, job. Look, I don't need you to tell me. If I'm not under arrest, I have nothing to say. I didn't do anything. He did not leave. When he, last time I saw him, he was alive. Leaving. Where, okay, where did you last see him then, alive? Last time I saw him, mm -hmm. I was dropped off home, and he left with Pop. Where's home? Where, where? Mm -hmm. The Melson? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Y'all got to look. There's no just, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But for someone to even come at me like I did anything to him, no. That man got me off back pains. He got me off drugs. He saved my life for real. No, man. I might not be in love with him the way I used to be, but he was one of my friends, right? No. Sure. Mm -mm. You called him before you went over there to see him later on in that evening. Hmm? You called him? Yeah. From whose phone? Aries. Right. Mm hmm And that was kind of late. It was 9.30 at night. Mm-hmm. But who were you with when you called him? BT. Alright. So you're with BT. Mm hmm And then... Then you went over there to the hotel. Yeah. With BT. With BT. And then I went upstairs and I talked to Rick. I was holding what I needed. He called his people to tell them what I needed. We came downstairs. BT was in the car. So I went up off on the phone, I was like, no, I should probably wait for BT. So I backed in and I asked BT. He came and I said, he was like, man, I thought something was wrong. I'm on the ground street. I do We got in the car, left. We went to go get something to eat. Where we did you go to get something to eat? We never got there because Papa wanted me to come pick up on the highway. Highway and what? Whose phone were you using when you called Pop? Whose phone was I using when I called Pops? Mm -hmm. BT's. What's Pop's number? It was saved in the phone, maybe, I don't know. What does what is BT's B, B, phone look like? It was a little beater. A little. Like a bomb phone? So what's the rest of the story? That's, that's it. Anything I well, I have video cool. of that car <clears throat> after y'all left mm -hmm. the night's in. Mm -hmm. 
going over there by Ramona. So explain to me how it gets over there if y'all are on highway. That I can't explain. I don't know. So who drove the car when you left? When they dropped you off? Pop. So why were you telling him on the phone something about you stole five hundred dollars from your man? Everything's cool. Everything's good. I wouldn't have you kill stuff like that. What, <laughs> what was that conversation about? I didn't steal anything from nobody. No, oh, I didn't say you did. I'm, I'm saying, saying. I, that was not the case. He thought I did, and he was like, "Your man's the craziest either." No, that's not the way anything went down. So what was the conversation at Aries' house, and why'd you go use his phone? You could have clearly used the T's phone to call him. Why am I going to use I don't got nothing to say. If I'm not arrested, whatever, if I'm arrested, arrest me. If I'm not, I'm done. For real. Okay. Because I can't. I'm not for That's fine. It's the game you want to play. 21 years old. It's the game you, you choose to play. It's your life. Oh. Hope it works out for you, Jalen. Yep. My name is not Shayla. That's what I got. Am I arrested? What? Hmm? Am I arrested? Oh, yeah. Hey, do you want a uh, drink? You don't want a Coke? I could, you don't? Okay, if you need anything, just knock on the door, okay? In the end, Lopano was sentenced to 13 years in prison and Mr. Blair was sentenced to life in prison. Thanks for watching, Mentor Lawyer.